All right, Joe Duncan Brewster, let's continue now with our second part about prepping and cutting. I've got everything hooked up here. I have my, uh, we're gonna use the number one tip to cut this. So I'm set on about 25 to 30 uh, PSI for my oxygen, and I'm set on about eight, nine, somewhere in here for the settling. And uh, that's about where we should be. There's nothing written in stone, but you go look up any of the Victor torches, and they'll tell you what size tip for what you're cutting. If you uh, use a tip that's too big, I can kind of throttle the oxygen settling back, get the flame a little lower, and I can use it on thinner stuff. And a lot of times, that's what welders do. We're a little lazy. Most welders do a number one for everything. And sometimes it's good and sometimes it's full of slag. We're kind of lazy like that, okay? So look at there, we're gonna cut this 12 inch. It's a 12 inch Mathy bevel machine. Mr. Mathy, dear Mr. Mathy, there's a lot of brands of bevel machines. Um, I won't mention them, but I think Mathy's the best. I looked it up and Mr. Mathy patented the original Mathy, I believe it was 1933. So these things have been around for 90 years and everybody tried to make one. They couldn't copy it exactly like him because of the patent, but this one is the most fluid and this one is the most functional. And the one thing I love about it also is that this is 12 inch. That's usually a lot of what you test on, particularly pipeline. I can use a short barrel torch in this 12 inch belt machine. A lot of other people's belt machines, you have to use a longer barrel torch like that one on the table. A long barrel and that's how the hassle and it's heavy and it's clumsy so mr. Matthew built this thing it goes around a pipe on his chain drive it has little shoes right here right now 12 inches is the biggest this cut it'll cut uh, 10 inch and I believe it'll cut 8 inch if you have the right shoes we call it or spacers and they're little round uh, slugs like a uh, coal row and they'll be one two inches long and that makes you cut rises this up lets you cut smaller pipe this is what you do, you go around it, once you get the pipe hot. It has a bridge here, this piece right here. You have the, uh, the part that holds your torch. You can turn it around so you can back bevel, we call that. We're gonna bevel this way, put a 30 or 37 and a half degree bevel, whatever you want. Or we can turn it around this way and go forward. Slides up and back for adjustment for whatever distance you're cutting real easy you don't want to put a wrench on this if you do you want it to be a baby wrench stuff's made out of aluminum and you will strip it over time when i bought this one probably 10 12 years ago it was about 2100 dollars got paid so much money a day on a job and i paid for it and it's been sitting in a closet mostly um, if you went to buy it right now i think it's about three thousand dollars so when you have these bevel machines and these tools you want to take care of them if you drop them out of a pipe rack, you can warp this. I had a uh, two to four that I bought 40 years ago and it still cut perfect. About five years ago, I had a helper drop it out of a pipe rack and he didn't cut a square no more. I had to go buy another one. I had a two to four and I had a six to eight that were 40 years old. I still have the six to eight and it still cuts perfectly. So when you uh, go to tighten these, you want to snug them, that's all, just a little bit. We're gonna cut this, we're gonna put it in here. And you wanna be about a quarter inch off, uh, or, or a quarter inch space from the little uh, fingers, the little tongues we call them. Uh, you don't want it to be right down on top of the pipe. Because if you do, then it's gonna cut good and it's gonna blow back. 